Now, this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. This is a yellow may or sulfur done uh, in a merger type pattern. It will represent the, the dun coming off and the um, style I'm using to present the emerging fly is the bubble CDC. It's one of my favourite ways of representing or presenting a, an emerging type fly, both for mayfly patterns and as well uh, midge. It's a, great, it's a great way to set the fly at a certain point. And here's the, the, the kind of the curved hook version, it's the darker version. There's, so there's many ways you could do it. Now the hook I'm using, this is a, it's a dry fly hook, this is the ultimate dry. Uh, black nickel, this one's from Full and Mill and it's a size 16. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, AO in yellow. They've waxed the thread, so we start at the eye, come down about the thorax length, and then remove the waist. Now, to protect the body, I'm going to use a fine copper wire. This is a, an extra small. So I'm going to tie this on the way down and on the side of the hook. Just controlling the turns as I wind down, just to the, the back of the hook. Now I'm going to use a, a bleached and dyed. This is a cock pheasant tail from Vineyards. It's been bleached and obviously dyed yellow. Now I reckon around about 45 fibres. If you bring them 90 degrees from the stem, the tips will line up, tear it away. we are looking for a nice small tail, not too long. So basically what you're doing here is floating the nymph uh, by using the CDC bubble. That's all I'm doing. So there's my tail, a couple of turns to hold. Just lift the fibre, the pheasant tail, and bring your thread up. Now, the fibre is, the pheasant tail is the weakest fibre, so I'm going to wind it towards myself, and then I'm going to protect it with the wire by winding it up the normal way. It just catches it in far better, and it'll your body will last far longer. Now when we get to this point here, what we do is we come across the pheasant tail fibre, we turn, then I turn onto the hook which locks it in, do the same again. So we then trim that away, bring the wire up, which is cross ribbing the pheasant tail fibre. You'll see it in much, you can see the, the rib better as well. Now there's five turns, and tie it in. And then keep a hold of the, wire, uh, the thread and then bend the wire, break it off. Now I'm using uh, a golden olive. This is CDC that I've dyed. It's white CDC that I bought from a domestic duck. They're not the best feathers in the world, but they're still okay. So with the, usually domestic ducks, the fibres are a bit broken. Uh, they're not as good as the, the wild. But anyway, they still work okay. Because of their dyed, obviously, even the, the natural, I still prefer to use a floating on them, but you just use your whatever floating you like to use for your dry flies, it'll be fine. So what I've done here, I've got three feathers, and I've laid them on top of one another. Now they have a natural curve, and I want the natural curve to come up and away from the hook. I only want to use the tip to form the bubble, so what I'm doing is drawing back the fibres I don't need. There's the tips. And then I'm pulling these together to tighten it up. And this will form a kind of curved shape that you need to actually hold the bubble. So when we've got that, we put it in finger and thumb. Come over. First thing to do, make sure you wax on your thread. Just come over a couple of turns. You can then slightly pull it. Tighten up. Now before we go any further, just check the bubble, make sure it's it's okay. That's fine. Slightly out here, but it's okay, I can sort that. But if there's uh, enough fibre there to form the bubble. Bring the thread back up. Now the dubbing. Use whatever dubbing you have. This is a blend. It's a golden yellow and a, an olive blend, blended together that I like. Uh, it gives it a kind of orangey type colour, which you see in the natural. Now you just double in. Form like a small thorax. Now give yourself a good millimetre from the eye. Uh, you need that to tie the CDC in. And plus I'm going to put a tiny bit of dub in there. So we end up in front, and you see the space we have. 
So basically the, the CDC is going to flow the nymph, so what I'm going to do then is I say the bubble. We pull these forward. Now we need some of the fibres from either side of these CDC feathers. Just to give the impression of the wing as well. So we draw them back. And then so basically take the bubble, or take the feathers or the fibres back with a finger and thumb. So we grab them on the top. Form the bubble and then tie it down. Now just check, you don't want it too big. So I'm just tapping it to open it out. That looks okay. And then we can tighten up. Trim away the CDC. Put a wax on your thread. Just tidy this area up. Now you could just leave it like that, that's fine with it. Before I do anything first though, I'm going to just open out the bubble. There we are. To tidy it up, you can see, you can leave the thread or you can, I'm going to put a wee bit more dubbing on. Same dubbing. Just hold the bubble out of the way and then form like, like a head with the, the dubbing. Now at this point, any fibre going forward, just draw it back. Use the thread turns to hold it. That looks fine to me. Now, to flat finish, just simply put some varnish on the thread. Just about a centimetre from the eye, and then wet finish. That'll lock in the, the turns. And varnish the head really for you, and then take away the thread. And there we are, that's a small emerger. So just just lay there, you can actually see these are the ends I drew back. It gives an impression of the wing as well. Simple wee fly, you could pick out some of the, the dubbing as well. But that's fine, that would I'd catch with that. Uh, as I say, you could tie them in different styles, you could do the shuttlecock version as well, that will, that will work. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.